So Merry Christmas. Um, I woke up and I was in a really, my dream was terrible. My kids are not talking to me. And I realized, oh my gosh, it's just about true. I think I've been a little bit of a helicopter parent, um, but my children are adults. And it's been so many years of like really angst and worry, largely because of my ex-husband's alcoholism for them. Um, but <clears throat> I know they love me. I can't control them. I can't make sure my son doesn't become an alcoholic like his father. I can't really stop them from doing the things that they want to do because I'm worried for their safety. Um, I see a little bit ahead, you know, 10 years down the road, which they, they don't know. They're in, they're, they're unaware. And so you just have to, as a parent, not just hold your breath when you have a baby, but when they reach adult age, you have to, it's a new, it's a brand new position for me, adult children. This is my first time with that. And, um, they're good kids. They're very smart. So you just, it's tough, you know, you, you send them out driving with cars and you can't protect them. You know, you can't. Now, you might make sure your car is safe, Ralph. Are you kidding? Are you, you're just joking, right, about the safety of our children and our poor people that can't afford really nice cars? Or like a friend of mine, a wheel fell off of a brand new Corvette and he killed his girlfriend. It's going to be on your plate when these accidents happen, by the way. Merry Christmas, Pam. Ralph, I think you must be joking I, that you wouldn't have inspections. That is not the problem. Food has gone up in price. Um, we need community class. You know, we need birth control for these kids. And they need to be mature and adults when they decide. We need to aim for that when they decide to have children. Um, so you have to teach them. You can't just throw them to the wind and say, well, have fun with the making baby thing. When I brought my daughter home, because nobody taught me about it, they said, well, you know, you should never be a single parent. Those are low-life people. And I found that not to be true, unless I'm a low-life. But um, that's not going to deter people. You have to let them experience and see and be part of that. And also part of the other side of the upper middle class, the poor, they have to... They have to experience it empirically and and kind of hands-on, day-to-day stuff. I mean, there's ways to teach people to have children when they're ready and how much more enjoyable it is um, to have the financing and education to support your kids. Um, you know, you can always have, be nieces and nephews and things like that. I truly feel like people are happier when they have the capabilities of providing for the children they bring into this world. Because I've done it both ways. I was a welfare mom on disability, getting welfare. It was, I felt so sad for her. One time my car wasn't running. I had a Peugeot. And um, it just wouldn't run. And she had spent, you know, some time coloring and wrapping the present for the little girl. And they were about 20 miles away in Chesterfield. And I called him. I said, my car doesn't start. And Hillary was so excited to get to that birthday party. And the father was like, well, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We can't come get you. Um, and so she missed her birthday party. And she probably doesn't remember it. But it was heartbreaking to me.